does not have a gender. So if you have problems in particular word, ask the person who knows. Ask the person who knows. And the same example with kafir. If you don't know the meaning of kafir, you will blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for putting a seal on their heart. But if you know the right meaning, kafir means one who can feel, then a problem will be solved. So in the same fashion, you have to ask the person who knows. Read the translation or ask the Maulanas and the Alim who are well versed with Arabic. If you're talking about science, go to a scientist. No, brother, I'd, I'd like to differ. If there is a, not a clear cut explanation given, a given, for example, Ali Flam Meme, then it depends upon you. But if a logical explanation is given, like who? Now, which scholar can deny that? Some are very stubborn. Since I don't want to change my translation. Hur means lady only. So I can't help it. But since I've given you, and he's given reference, my lexicon, Lane's lexicon. Lane's lexicon is if you want to know the root word of the meaning, you have to refer to Lane's lexicon dictionary. It has got eight volumes. Refer to the main, go to the root word. Same way, you're going to talk about science. Sometimes, like as it said, the some adds an unestablished meaning. And Quran says, what meaning, which has not been clear, don't go into the depth and unnecessarily trouble yourself. Don't ask the things which are not made clear to you. Like for example, oh, Surah Bakra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you slaughter a cow. Simple. But these people, unki niyat thi, their intention was that we should not slaughter. So they made an excuse. Ya Allah bari ta'ala, it should be of which color? Now since I've asked to Allah, Allah says, it should be surk, it should be fawn color, or maybe yellow color. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I've understood yellow color. But there are many cows with yellow color. You tell us plainly what it should be. So then they say, it should not be too young, it should not be too old. No, we want to know in detail. So see, they are going in the ditch. Then it says, there will be a cow which will not be used for tilling. And now since they were trapped, they had to, first of all, they found it difficult to find that cow. Simple instruction, sort of a cow, sort of a cow. So simple. Now if you try and go into the depth and ask unnecessary question, you are making yourself come into a problem. And then they were trapped and they had to slaughter a cow. But they made life difficult for themselves. So what is made mean very clear for you, plain for you, follow it. Don't go too much into things which are not been made plain. Hope that answers the question. There's a question Excuse on the lady's side. Uh, this is the last question because time is up, I think so. On what basis are the chapters in the Holy Quran compiled? Because as far as my knowledge goes, Surah Fatiha was is the first surah, though it was revealed later on. Whereas Ikra Bismi Rabikal Lazi Khalak was revealed first, but it appears in the 96th surah. So, like, you can tell me how it was compiled. Brother, I mean, sorry, sister, I suppose a very good question. She has said, on what basis has the Quran be arranged? And she has rightly said that Surah Allah, the first five verses, for the first two revelation, then comes Surah Muzammil, Mudassir, then Surah Fatih, I agree with it. But the, if you see, the Quran was arranged now, it's not in the chronological order in which it was revealed. The verses which were revealed first, come in the 96th chapter. So why is it so? Firstly, I will tell you, sister, that the revelation of the Quran came in stages. Depending upon the problem which was prevalent in that time, the ayat was revealed. Like for example, somebody asked Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Who is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? What is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? See, now if you try giving the attributes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you can keep on writing and keep on saying. Present Surah Luqman, if you convert all the trees into pen and the seas back to seven oceans into ink, you cannot write the praise of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not know what to answer. Like, he, he, he knew the attributes, but he looked up to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give an answer. And immediately ayat was revealed, Kul Wallahu Ahad, Sayyid Allah Wa and only. And this Surah Ikhlas, the four line definition, is a beautiful definition of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Anyone fitting in this four line, we agree him to be God. We agree him to be Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah is the more appropriate word. So depending upon the situation, the ayah was revealed. But later on, and it was these ayah were arranged in the present form. Again, by the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through Archangel and Gabriel, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was not a man-made arrangement. Why? I'll tell you why. It is not a man-made arrangement that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or any particular sahaba said that Surah uh, Allah should be 96, Surah Fatah should be 1. It was by divine guidance. 
of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How? Because there is a mathematical code in the Quran. There is a mathematical code in the Quran. I'm not referring to 19 theory. That being, that's a false thing. I don't refer to that. If you see the, if you read the Quran Sharif, I'd like to give you an example. That if you read the Quran Sharif, if you read Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse 159, it says, Isa in the like of Masal Adam, Khalakam in Durab, Summa Kala Lahukun Payakun. It says that the similitude of Jesus in front of Adam is the same. He was created from dust and said, Be and it was. In the same fashion as Adam was created, the same fashion Isa was created. Kun Payakun. Meaning wise, it is same. But besides the meaning, even mathematically, if you calculate, if you calculate that total number of times that the mentioning of Isa alayhi salam in the Quran is 25. The total number of times that Adam alayhi salam is mentioned in the Quran is 25. So besides the meaning being same, even the mentioning is same. 25, 25. In the Masala, Isa in the lie. That the similitude of Jesus is same as Adam. May peace be upon them. So, Quran has been mathematically coded. There are several other verses which say that those who reject our signs are like dogs. If you count how many times this, this verse has come, it has come five times. Besides the meaning being the same, that those who reject the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are like dogs, even the mentioning is the same. The word dog, the Arabic word kalb, has been mentioned five times in the Quran. Same mentioning, those who reject our signs, has been mentioned five times. Besides the mentioning being same, if you count from Surah Fatiha, see if it's the chronological order has changed, the mentioning will yet be same. It will not differ. If you, whichever order the Quran was revealed in, the mentioning will yet be same. But, besides the mentioning being same, if you count from Surah Fatiha, verse number 1, till Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59, Isa salam has been mentioned seventh time. If you count from Surah Fatiha, how many times Isa, Isa alayhi salam has been mentioned? Till Surah Imran chapter number 3 verse 59, it is seventh time. If you count Adam alayhi salam, how many times it is mentioned? Again seventh time. So if you change the order, it will not match. So this order was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows this is the best order and it cannot be tampered with. Hope this answers the question. Now we end the question answer session. Thank you very much. The Zakir Nayak has given very knowledgeable lecture and we have acquired quite a lot of knowledge so that we can talk to any non-Muslim regarding Islam and regarding Quran. Now I call Brother Noman to give a word of thanks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to thank Allah Bari Ta'ala to give you Taufik to come to this program and listen to it with full concentration. I would like to thank members of IRF Islamic Research Foundation, Dr. Zakir Naik, Professor Hamza Virani for their kind support and spending their previous precious time for us. I would thank the members of ICE, that is Islamic Centre for Education, Mr. Junaid, Mr. Irfan Rakhange, Mr. Salim, and myself and other volunteers. Last but not the least, I would thank you all for devoting your valuable time to make this program a great success. Thank you. Thank you very much.
لا 